Hello everyone, and welcome back to Microsoft Oceans. Today, we start the tours of Curtis, an international rescue worker. Let's get started. My name's Curtis, and I rescue people for a living. When people think about dangers at sea, they think about hurricanes and shipwrecks and sharks. You know, all the really spectacular stuff. But it's usually the little things that get people in big trouble. Choose one of my tours and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, poison. Let's go. I see lots of poisoning accidents in my work. There are two ways to get poisoned. You can eat something that's poisonous, or a venomous animal can inject poison into your system. Believe me, you don't want to experience either method. Take red tide. Ever heard of it? Well, if you collect your own shellfish, you better listen carefully. Red tide is a rapid growth of a certain type of plankton. The plankton's waste products build up and poison shellfish in the area, which in turn can poison you. If you ever bite into shellfish and your lips start tingling, stop right there. That's often the first warning sign of shellfish poisoning. And eating more could paralyze your whole body. Click my picture and we'll move on. Yeah, this is going to be very, um, educational. Ah, petroleum. We know that an oil slick can smother and poison animals, but did you know that petroleum can be poisonous to people too? You don't want to breathe the ocean spray near a major spill or eat anything that may have been contaminated by oil. Mm-hmm. And then there's sewage and garbage. Oh, I know. Nobody wants to think about it and nobody wants to talk about it. That's part of the problem. People don't check into these things. Do you know where your drinking water comes from? What happens to your garbage after it's picked up? And yes, how about that seafood you ate last night? Of course, you can't keep track of the whole world, but you should at least find out about all these things in your own community. Okay, on to more pleasant topics. As pleasant as poisoning can be? Like an octopus. These little fellows are pretty to look at, but you should also know that they carry concealed weapons. Would you believe that every octopus has a sharp beak and venom? They can give you a nasty bite that you won't forget in a hurry. And a few, like this pint-sized blue ring here, can kill you. As far as I know, not a single person has survived the bite of a blue-ringed octopus. And then there are shells. Divers sometimes forget that there are animals living in those gorgeous shells. And some, like this cone shell, kill their prey by shooting out poison darts. If you pick one up, you might just end up being its next victim. Besides sharks, can you think of other dangerous animals in the ocean? Uh, yeah. All right. I have to admit, these guys look dangerous, but you don't need to worry about them unless you're teasing them. You wouldn't do something foolish like that, would you? Keep in mind that many dangerous ocean creatures don't look dangerous at all. Here's a couple of them now. If you see globby-looking things floating on or near the surface of the water, do not dive in. You may see a jellyfish's body and think you can stay out of range, but their tentacles can dangle a long way below them, and they're nearly invisible. Some stings are so mild you'd hardly notice, but others can leave you in agony. The safe thing to do is to steer clear of these things, period. Here's another stinger you might not recognize. Fire corals come in different shapes and colors, so you're better off not touching any coral at all. Oh, it may not hurt at first, but once the pain starts, it could stay with you for days. Think about the worst sunburn you've ever had. The venom of fire corals can make you feel exactly like that. Mm-hmm. I don't have to tell you to stay away from this creature, do I? I didn't think so. Some dangers are pretty obvious. That's all I have to say for now. If you'd like to find out about other dangerous situations, choose another of my tours. Otherwise, you can go explore on your own. But be careful out there. Well, this has been very cheery, but anyway, that's all for today. I'm Brian Croydragon, signing out. Stay straight!